You wrote about this today, um, the, uh, the the buck basket full of deplorables, which Hillary also said to Israeli TV, and I wouldn't be surprised if she said it before that as well, so it wasn't something that just popped into her head. No, my understanding is that she's been saying this or things very much like it uh, to these fundraisers. The previous fundraisers were not open to the media, and I think what happened here was that her campaign decided uh, they needed a change of pace, so they started being more open to media. Remember last week they allowed the reporters on the plane right. and so forth. And so I think they decided to open this one to the media, and it just didn't occur to them uh, because uh, it, you know this speaks this speaks a certain recklessness on her part. It didn't occur to them that uh, this was something that she didn't really want reported, that she was saying this to her donors. We've had candidates before uh, disparage uh, their rivals uh, in front of friendly crowds, not knowing the media was present. You remember Barack Obama referring to Mrs. Clinton's supporters as bitter clingers in yep. the spring of 2008, yep. and then Mitt Romney and his uh, surreptitiously recorded 47 percent comment in 2012. But I think this is much, much worse, and I think that while I agree with the general thrust of Mr. Heilman's comments. I don't think he goes nearly far enough. I think this is one of the ugliest things uh, any American politician has said in recent memory. Wow, uh, that, that, that is saying something. And, and you know, because what, she, what she's doing here, uh, we know, for instance, from the latest CNN poll that uh, uh, by 20 percent, he's winning with, uh, with married women. Uh, we know that by 19 percent, he's winning with members of the military, current and previous, that means veterans. So she's calling by her definition, one out of every two of those married women and, and military personnel, homophobes, xenophobes, bigots, you name it, and that's... Uh, Although uh, she didn't say anti-Semitism. Anti that was a pointed omission, and I think it tells us something about the state of uh, the left and democratic politics today. And, I mean, it's true that there are Trump supporters who express uh, uh, deplorable views, including anti-Semitism. I've seen them on Twitter. Uh, but... I. Uh, even for those people, uh, there was something that Mrs. Clinton said that I think was absolutely appalling. And the, really the key to what she said, uh, and remember, she only apologized for the word half. Right. She did not apologize. Right. She stands behind everything else she says, including the following. They are irredeemable, but thankfully they are not America. So first of all, we have a professed Christian saying of other people that they are irredeemable. Uh, even putting aside the theological question, that's a shocking thing to say for somebody who aspires to the powers of the presidency, even if she thinks rightly that she, the people she's talking about hold deplorable views. Second, they're not America. Well, these are voters. By definition, they're Americans. You remember Trump got uh, beat up a few weeks ago because he said something about uh, maybe we should have an ideological test for naturalization. Right. Here is Mrs. Clinton proposing an ideological test for people who are already American citizens. You're absolutely this is right. just so far beyond the pale. Uh, and, you know, to call it bigotry or to say it uh, it comes close to the definition of bigotry as Mr. Heilman does. I don't think comes anywhere near doing it justice.